Oh hi there big boys and welcome to Hellbound. This is an old style shooter game but with modern day graphics and design and all that stuff. You heard this before, there's quite a few games like this nowadays. But you know, always up for a game like this because they're quite fun, quite simple, quite good. The graphics aren't amazing, they're more PS3 level than PS5 or PS4 but there we are. Ragdoll physics when you kill someone, that's pretty fun. Heard the game's quite short, as in like two hours level. Which, to be honest, for me is a plus point because there's too many long games nowadays. Can't be asked to get through them all. I, just, I don't have time. So, um, I don't think anyone's got time really. And I think that's why, I mean, yes, admittedly, it's probably better value if it's longer, I suppose. But I think I'm more likely to enjoy a shorter game. Because a game like this, especially. Let's be honest, after you play this, if you play this game for like 12 hours, you're going to be a bit bored. Oh, new triple shotgun. Alright, and there's a man who goes triple shotgun. Okay, so this is this is interesting so far, I suppose. Right, I mean, I'll be honest, there's nothing particularly uh, unique about this game so far, but at least it plays pretty fun. It plays, it plays a bit like Doom, actually, I suppose. I mean, I suppose it's kind of where half the inspiration comes from, I'd imagine. Both modern day and old style Doom. Okay, can I do glory kills? No. Right, I don't know where I'm going. Um, one thing I do point out is that this game's got an FPS limit of 144, which I think is kind of weird. Why not let me have my FPS limit be whatever I want, you know? Because a lot of games like, like to set it at like 200 or something like that. Oh, you can punch them. Okay, so you know, would that hurt anyone, really? I don't think so. Okay. There's some metal tunes going on in the background. They seem decent enough, I suppose. Right, well, how am I? Can I just go in? Oh. Okay. Alright then. That wasn't too. Oh, wow, the Gibbs! The Gibbs! So I. Oh, I ran out of ammo. Okay. Cool. Can I actually just. Oh, I get ammo. Okay, cool. Do, do, do. Yeah, the game's not too bad. It's all quite fun, but it's not particularly. um, Yeah, exciting either, though, because it does get a bit samey already. But, you know, not too bad. Urgh, kill the man, punch him up. Urgh, I've had enough of you. Okay, cool. Yeah, the game isn't bad. The game isn't bad, that's that's for sure. Is it my favourite game in the world? Definitely not. Definitely not. Anyway, I don't know what else to say really. This is pretty standard stuff, isn't it? Pretty pretty fine. Pretty fine. Urgh, kill the man. To be fair, I could see myself playing the through the rest of this game just because it is kind of fun and it's a nice sort of break between playing like heavy story based games you know stuff like that because there's too many of those as well let's be honest although they are some of my favorite genres as well there should be a quick melee attack so you go like Phew, that'd be nice rather than having to swap out to that and then do that because it's a bit finicky I mean yes probably not meant to be doing melee attacks that often but still it would be nice to have I think okay got five plus health cool should I try something for a sec? For a bit of fun? Go on video, right? So, max of yes, 100, 144, right? Let's try on 30. Oh, imagine playing a cons uh, an FPS game at 30. Oh, I was just saying that, I did do that with Borderlands on a PS4, and I did not recommend. Now, if you switch to 144, oh, it's so smooth. It's funny that, because 144 looks sometimes to me a little bit not smooth. What about change it to 60? Yeah, 16 then doesn't look smooth. Weird that. I wonder why that is. Maybe my free sync isn't working. Because I'll be honest, I've got free sync, but it doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to work half the time. Can't open it directly. Okay, right. There's no way of testing if free sync actually works. Is there? That's the another annoying thing. They, they used to be apparently, but uh, not anymore. It used to be like demos you could run, and a video thing would just be like, oh, there you go. But nowadays it's not a thing. Head crusher. Da, 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 the Head Crusher. Is that what it goes like the Mega Death song? Head Crusher! Da, 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 da. It is, isn't it? Da, 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 da. That one. Everyone knows that's Nash. Probably not. It's quite, quite a niche song. Anyway, I'm saying anyway a lot in this video because I just. I'm going off on tangents a bit because I feel like there's not much more I can say. But yeah, it's alright. It's quite fun, I suppose. Would I recommend this game? If you're into these sort of games, yeah. That's the answer to that question. I mean, I think... You can press E and just hear and go, mm. It's quite fun. 
Okay. Right, let's continue on here. Right, we've got some health. Right. Eat, interact. Can we go in here now? Yes, I think we can. No, we don't. Can we go in here now? Yeah, we can. Oh, right. What? What? Do you have to be quick about it? It didn't look like the actual bars came down. Only the door behind it, though. Let's try again. It doesn't. The actual... Can we tear down the bars? It's going to be like... Punch them in the face. Hmm. Let's try another. Let's give it a go. Give it a go. Oh wait, can you go on this side? Yeah, you can go on that side. Okay. Fair enough then. Urgh. Animation seemed pretty decent enough. Yeah. It's definitely holding its inspiration close to its sleeve. Is that the phrase? I don't know. It's not particularly amazing or interesting or unique in any way, but it's alright. What's this going to do? Does, it, does, that, does that just take me down? But No, it doesn't. What does it do? It's over there. Is that secret over there? Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's like a bloody, um, you can't destroy that. Um, what's that, that game with the, um, not game. The, yeah, the game, Minecraft, that's the one I was thinking of. The one where they go, hmm, the villagers. I do like the fact that the enemies have ragdoll effects. That's something which, obviously, they could not have done in the past when these games were very popular. So it's nice to have a game like this which does do modern day techniques like that. I do like ragdoll effects. I've always found ragdoll effects really f cool, you know, just really fun. Always, I always like them. There's also a survival mode, by the way, if you're uh, if you're curious. But um, yeah. Anyway, continue onwards. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, survival mode. Yeah, I don't really like survival modes, but they're there. I suppose if you're into that sort of thing. I mean, they are a good way of increasing replayability of actually having to put much work in. That's why I added it to my game Battle Blade. <laughs> you can get it on Steam if you like and I'm would recommend. One at a time. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely a game you can be in a, in an afternoon, apparently. So, you know, that's cool, in my opinion. But, buy it on sale, you know. Don't be silly. Okay. So can we go in here? No, can't open it directly. Okay. There's, the map seemed decent enough as well, quite a lot of secrets and all that. Brr. I mean, the game does feel like quite meaty. The actual gameplay, I think, is pretty solid. It sort of reminds me of another game that came out recently. And it's like this, but it was more melee focused, and I can't remember what it's called. But I did a review of it, and you can have a look on my channel. I enjoyed it, I beat the game. I beat it in like, you know, it wasn't very long either, but it was still longer than this. That game was about four hours long. And yeah, but then to be fair, I feel like that game at least had a bit more to it because that game was more of a Metroidvania. Well, not well, that's a lie, but it had I had sort of RPG style leveling up and stuff, which was which was alright. It was alright. I shouldn't be talking about other games in this. It's a bit like cheating on a on a, on a girlfriend or whatever, isn't it? A bit rude. A bit rude. Definitely a bit rude. I don't I don't do that myself. I uh, stick to just having the one at a time. It's uh it's easier that way. Um, anyway, no, it's not because it's easier, it's because I wouldn't dare hurt someone's feelings. And I don't think I could go through with it, truth be told. And I think that's a good thing on my part, I'm glad I, I'm glad I couldn't go through with it. I'm just, I'm speaking some rubbish. I mean, I do find this game quite fun, I'm not going to lie, I do find it fun. If you put on a film, you know, in the background or like a podcast, oh I died. How far back am I going to be back? Oh no, let's have a look. Yeah, um, I feel like this game would be quite good mindless shooter sort of thing, I'm which I'm always back. into. Oh, thank God, that was checkpoint was just really recent. That's lovely then. Though, oh Christ, that's what did all the damage. I didn't realize that exploded. Okay, killed that. What does that do then? Oh, it opens that. Okay. Yeah, level design's not too bad. I've seen worse. At least it sort of loops back on itself and stuff like that. Hopefully, we get some new guns soon. I just got a pistol, didn't we? But I. Maybe? No, we didn't. That's just an ammo thing. Okay. Cool. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, the game is quite fun. To be fair, I'm enjoying myself. Urgh, shoot the man. Urgh. Come on. Shoot the man. Cool. The men have been shot. Cool. That's saving game. Lovely. Ah, more men. They're not really men, are they? They're demons. But yeah, this is definitely like budget doom. 
in a nutshell, to be honest. Which I'm fine with, because I enjoy Doom. And, um, who doesn't enjoy a nice bit of demon hunting? I'll probably put on my own music to this game, rather than just turn off music in this game, though, because it's quite low budget and, like, low quality sounding. To be honest. It doesn't sound awful, but it does sound kind of like stock, you, you know, stock metal music. Which I could go without and just listen to some Gojira or some like Dying Feet or something like that, you know. It's probably gonna enjoy that more. Alright, can I go in here now? I think I've got a red key. Yeah, cool. They're all colour coded, lovely. What's in here? Oh now we've got double damage. Whoa! It's going crazy. It's all going mad here. Okay. Urgh, I don't like you. Don't like you either. Oh, press E to interact, don't know what it did, but I've done it. Okay, no way to see if it's a timed one or if it's just a um, permanent button press, which is kind of annoying. What's over here? There's got to be a secret over here, right? It kind of burns me alive, but I really want to see if there's a secret. I don't think there's a secret. I think I might just be going the wrong way. Hmm. No, surely you'd put a secret over here, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you put a secret here? No? Or is that too obvious? But even then, it's still like a sort of platforming challenge. No, not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna be burned alive at the stake. Uh, okay, then well, that was useless. All right, then I don't know why that was even there. See, there's definitely like like a path leading there. Oh, I died now. Okay, try again. Even that, like having icons on left and right when you're selecting something, that is ripped straight from Doom and those sort of style games. It's not a bad thing. You know? I think it's trying. To, to aim for that. Still, I feel like admittedly two hours is a bit short still nevertheless, even if um, I do like shorter games, I still feel like two hours is a bit bit much. Well, you could you could get up to at least three. Because that's like within the Steam refund period, so you could very well, someone could buy the game, then st refund the game and be like, oh I beat the game. I hate when people do that, but people do do it. People do do horrible things like that, and we shouldn't support it. Then again, I guess the cinema ticket costs that much, and um, probably lasts that long. Probably might be cheaper than a cinema ticket. It probably is actually, especially if you get on sale and stuff. But then again, higher budget, isn't it? I don't know. Right, we gotta go over there then. Okay, cool. Yeah. My voice is getting a bit tired. I don't know why it happens sometimes. Need some water, I reckon. And I've already pressed it. Okay then. Am I missing one on this side? I think there was one on this side I didn't press. There was. I pressed it in the last one. Okie dokie. Yeah. Yeah. It's alright. Not much else to say is that I don't I think this game is PC exclusive, I think. I don't know really. To be fair, I don't even know if the developers of this game have made anything else other than this game if sort of get, um, oh, where is it? Has this game been taken off Steam? No, it hasn't. Never mind. I couldn't find the still page for some reason, but I found it now. So, they do seem to be look, look like they're still doing updates and stuff to the game. They've just added a, oh wow, they've actually added a new, a new level. That's good. Well, there you go. The game's £11.39 though. It doesn't have achievements either. That's not very good, is it? I like it when games have achievements. This game does not have any. But even though it hasn't got any achievements, it's still it's still quite fun. And it's two hours long, so it's, you know. Not gonna be the biggest expenditure of your time, is it? But is it worth eleven pounds? Mm, I'm gonna say no. Is it worth half that? Yeah, probably, if it's on sale. Probably it's probably enjoy yourself a bit with that. But yeah, I wouldn't pay eleven pounds for this. I don't even pay for this, I got a key for this to clarify and I still wouldn't pay eleven pounds for it, no. Anyway, Urgh. cool. Urgh. Oh, someone behind me. Nope. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Urgh. Urgh. All right. A e to interact. E to interact with what? What, is, what do they want me to interact with? Am I missing something? Whoa. E to interact with what? Is it below me or above me or something? Maybe? Might be here? Oh, okay. Well, they should have. That should have been pretty easy to find in QA, really. Anyway. 
Ooh, right. And we get on here now. Hey. Okay. I would like if this game had achievements. You know, I'd appreciate that. Mr. Dev, add achievements to your game. Come on. You're better than that. You should know better. Every developer should add achievements to their game if possible. Because why not? It doesn't take that much long. It doesn't take that long to implement. I mean, it does take a, a while. I admit, it's not like it's not like it's a five-minute job. And depending on the size of your game, it could very well take a few um, a few hours. I mean, well, longer than that to be fair. The size of your game, it could take up to like could take up to like a week or two. But you know, it's not going to take that long. It took me about what maybe three hours to implement it in my game. So you know, come on. Alright, I think we're going to end the game here. But it isn't a bad game at all. As to whether or not I recommend it, this is up for you to decide. The game is not bad, but it's not particularly, you know, it's not going to blow anyone's minds away or anything like that. But it's perfectly fine. So, yeah, that was Bloodhound or whatever what was it called? Not Bloodhound. Hellbound. I was, I was close. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I do kind of want to keep playing. So they must be doing something right if I'm... I'm excited by the idea of playing more of it. So, you know, the game is quite fun. But it does sort of feel a bit like a um, game not from 2021, if you know what I mean. Even though I know it's not. Well, I mean, it is from 2020. Well, it's from 2020, but um, I know it's not really. It's using the sort of old gameplay philosophy, but uh, mod updating it. But it still feels a bit like it's not actually fun. Like, I think it's mainly the graphics, to be fair. The graphics could do a bit of work, because, come on, just throw some particles in there. Everyone likes particles. Throw some particles off when you do that, and like have them, you know, jump off of the, and there's, uh, there's no impact when you shoot something either, you see that? Oh, actually, there might be. I can't tell if there is, or if it, oh yeah, there is. There is a bit of impact. There's no decal on the actual material, which I would prefer, so that you can actually see, like, a bullet hole, something like that, because games have done that for ages, and it's, it's a nice way of making the game feel a lot more alive, making the environment feel more alive and stuff like that. But um, that's quite complicated stuff, I suppose. So. I forgive you. Well, not really. It's actually quite easy, especially since they're using UE4, and that is it's really easy to implement in, in a UE4. I mean, I could do it for you if you give me 100 quid, probably. Yeah, I'd do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm up for that. I'm up for the challenge. Probably could do it for less. Oh, what? No time to rest. What? Did I find a secret? I mean, it looked like it was a bug, but I don't think it is a bug, because that seemed like like a very odd bug, because why would they not put collision there? Um, okay, right. Let's, let's just not worry about that. I think it, this is in fact a secret, which I have found, which is an interesting one. What? Was this actually where you were supposed to go? Was this a secret? I can't tell. Was it supposed to, like, move, but didn't move? Or was I actually just supposed to figure out that I was supposed to just jump through it? I don't know. Anyway, well, I mean, I did figure out, so I guess they did something right there. No, I feel like that was more just me being silly. But, you know. Okay. Kill them. Yeah, the game is alright. I want some more guns, though, to be honest. More guns would not be... will not go amiss. Anyway, we'll end the video here. The game's not bad. So, thanks for watching, big boys. It's important time, and... Bye!